<clears throat> Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss negative reciprocals and uh, their relation to perpendicular lines. Basically, a reciprocal, if you have uh, y equals f of x, then the reciprocal of it is basically, let's just say y is equal to, well, 1 over f of x. That's a reciprocal, but then if a negative one, you'll just add a negative. So negative reciprocal. So basically, if you look at numbers, if you have, let's say, uh, 2, then the negative reciprocal is just going to be, well, this is written as, this could be written as 2 over 1, so this is going to be negative 1 over 2, so I'll just flip it up and do this. So this is, um, what this is useful for is if you have, let's say, a line, let's say y is equal to 2x, and if you were to graph it, yeah, so if you were to graph it here, here's the graph of, uh, this is y equals 2x. So basically, uh, this is this is a straight line with a slope of rise over 1 of, uh, well, 2 over 1. Then the negative reciprocal, if you were to draw, so if you use the slope, let's say slope is 2, is equal to 2 or 2 over 1, just so it's, it's 2 over 1 or uh, rise over 1. So basically, if we do the negative reciprocal of it, if we were to draw the, let's say if you look at the slope, we'll go, let's say y is equal to 1 over 2x, negative 1 over 2x. And so yeah, so it's right over there. So if you were to graph this one, you would have something like, it would look, it would look something like this, and where this is actually perpendicular. And this is, we'll just call this, yeah, well basically this is the, the curve here. And to, basically what I want to show in this video is to prove that it's perpendicular. Basically if you have, it is rise of a run, so it's going to be, the slope here is going to be, well, this is going to be, let's say, negative 1 and 2. So that's that's the slope here. In this case, rise, negative 1, and then 2. Yeah, so what I want to prove is that the intersection, or basically this point here, of two lines that have their slopes uh, that are negative reciprocals of each other basically are perpendicular. This is just this way of writing perpendicular. So this, just a line like that, this equals perpendicular. Well, the, to prove it, let's say we have uh, one one line which has, let's write it over here. Let's say y is equal to, well, we'll just go a, a over b times x. So this is a straight line. This is going to be, let's say these are both positive. So it will be something like this. There you go. Where a or b is the, the, the slope. So a is rise of a run. So a over b equals to rise of a run. So we're going to rise a. Let's say it's a is over here. It's just exaggerated. And then b is somewhere like, let's say, and you run really small. So the, the slope is really high. Yeah, so then if you were to draw it right across, it would be something like this. So basically, yeah, this is the, the this is the line for this one. It, it extends down, but uh, we don't need to look at that. So now let's say if we want to graph the negative reciprocal, so y is equal to negative b over a x. So then now now the rise for run is going to be negative b. We'll just write that down here. So rise uh, negative b, which is b is this side. This is how small it is. That's b negative b, and then it extends all the way down to a, which is right here. Yeah, so then if you were to draw the line, it would be crossed like this. So now if you were to look at these two, let's just write this a bit better here. This line here, this is A. Yeah, so if you look at this, uh, this line here, imagine this was the y-axis. All, all we did here is shift this by B. And all we did with the x is actually shift it down here by B. Because this is just B. So all we did was rotate the axis. All, all we did was, was rotate. So we never actually changed where the slopes were. So then if, if the original was uh, perpendicular, the y and x, this is also perpendicular. Yeah, so then just by observation, it looks like, yeah, it, the intersection is perpendicular. It's all we're doing is basically rotating this perpendicular axis here. So then, yeah, so that that's all the proof there is. Hopefully uh, you learned this one. This is a useful uh, look into... Uh, orthogonal trajectories, which is uh, my next next video, but it's this basically going to use this principle here, that the negative reciprocals of intersections is going to be perpendicular. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.